Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be disassembling the Dell Precision 5470. This is a 2023 model, just came out. A uh, very nice workstation. Uh, very actually simple to um, get into and replace the battery, the fans, the solid state. Keep in mind the memory is soldered locally on the board, so there's no um, memory upgrade ability. So keep in mind if you buy this machine, you have what you have. Um, very similar, you know, the HP Z books, the Lenovo Carbon X1s, a lot of them are the same. Um, the memory soldered directly onto the board. You get faster speeds also, you know, it, you can't really replace stuff. So um, the, the first step really, all you need is a standard um, Torx T5H. This is a bit that I use for this one. Um, very simple. So I've already got the I've already got the screws out of this thing. Um, there are two here, two here, and then four here. Um, so not a whole lot of screws. Um, four on the front, two, and then two on the back. Now this is a tricky part here. Um, to get this bottom panel off, you're gonna start on this corner where this little this little gap piece is right here. And really, we're just going to get a standard little uh, kind of guitar pick type, you know, any of the tech disassembly tools here. And we're going to start here on this side, and we're going to work our way in. Um, getting it started is the hardest part for sure. So let me go ahead and get the camera readjusted so we can start to pop this off. So you can see here, well, this is where we're going to start. We're going to start on this side, and then we're going to start working our way up right here. And then w once you get it in this spot, we're just gonna start rolling this kind of piece back and popping a lot of these off. Once you get it kind of started, you can see it starting to separate there. Um, that's a key piece. So we're just gonna kind of continue going around this side. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And just kind of run it down here. It is definitely a little bit tight and a little nerve wracking, but didn't make any noises. So I've got this down here through the side, as you can see, sort of here, worked my way all the way up through the side of here. And then now you can see this piece is starting to separate a little bit. And that's what we want to see. And then we're going to continue to work our way around. Get in this side here now. We're going to continue to work our way around here. And then all the way down the front. You can kind of hear the clicks. And there's another one. There's another one, and continue to work away around. And I will say, once you get it going, try not to let it get out of the bottom panel, because you got to kind of start back here. Oops, so there's another click I was looking for. There we go. Now I've got around the side and we're just gonna kinda of continue to work our way through here. Now I think we're about good to go. All right, so once once this panel is kinda of up like this, the last piece is we're gonna lift it kinda of up and then forward this way. So up here and then this piece just kinda of latches off. So that is the bottom of, uh, the inside of the bottom panel. All right, so as for upgradability, um, the memory is soldered on, so there's not a whole lot you can do with the memory. Um, really, the only thing we can do inside of here is replace uh, the thermal paste, um, replace the fans, um, battery, and SSD. So on the SSD, it's very simple. This little copper heat spreader here, you're just going to get a standard Phillips screwdriver, and you're going to back this screw out. And then this, this piece is going to lift up. Now be careful, the SSD is probably going to try to come out with this. So you're going to lift this up. Be careful not to scratch the PCB. And you're going to slowly back this back. And that's going to take off the heat spreader. And then your SSD is right here. So on this machine, uh, you can go up to a max of 4 terabytes. Uh, that's as large as you can go. Um, limitation of the chipset on here. So once the SSD is out, really we can take the battery out next if we wanted to. Um, move this here a little bit closer. So we're going to have a couple screws here. And we're going to have this one here. Screw comes out with it, didn't have retainers. Second screw. Third screw. And then the fourth screw. 
um, battery is very easy to uh, to replace on here. So once you have the four screws out, actually we have five screws. We have that last one right here. Um, so once the screws are out, uh, you're going to take this. This is the battery tab. You're going to pull this and you're going to kind of pull this straight up. If I can grab it right. And that's going to pull straight up like that. So once the screws out, uh, we have this little cable here that we have to kind of pull up. As you pull up on the battery, this piece kind of routes under here. So you're going to move these out of the way. And there's a battery. Uh, very simple to replace on this. Um, and then this is where you just put your new battery in. Um, but yeah, that's that's really about it. Not a whole lot to do on this precision workstation here. Um, there are several other pieces you can get to if you need to. Um, if you've got to replace a keyboard, there's a couple more screws. Dell has a full kind of walkthrough on their site on what you need to do to to do that. I'm not going to get that deep inside of here. Um, brand new machine, so I don't want to really tear it, do a full tear down here. Um, but yeah, common things you're going to do, replace the SSC, likely the only thing you're going to have to do. Um, again, four terabyte max NVMe SSD on here. So uh, reassembly is, you know, very simple. Um, the, writing, the writing goes up. Set the battery back on here. We're going to route these cables through this little channel here that channel down there and then back around the screw hole and then that's going to sit there and reassembly again very simple and don't forget this piece right here we're going to reconnect it it's going to go straight down you're going to feel a good kind of a, a good a good click here you can kind of hear it there. Um, put this little piece back if you want to be absolutely perfect. Um, SSD, standard NVMe, nothing special here. It's going to go in at an angle, slot in here. And then it's just going to do this. We're going to take the copper bracket here. It's going to go over the SSD. Now on this piece, this just kind of fits in. You, you keep kind of wiggling it in until, um, these, uh, until the screw hole lines up here. And really, that is about it. Um, reassemble the SSD. And there you have it. Um, very, very simple teardown. Um, really, the hardest part is getting getting this first piece off here, off these clips. This is the hardest part, is getting this piece off of here. Um, reassembly, very simple. We're gonna start on the back side. This is gonna go at an angle. These pieces kind of latch in here, as you can see these, these little latches. So they're going to kind of pivot here, and then they're gonna slot in, and then straight down. And then we're going to kind of run our fingers through here, make sure this is fully seated all the way around. Don't hear many pops. Um, which is a little reassuring and a little bit worrisome, I guess, at the same time. Um, again, we have our T5H bit here, and it is a exact um, exact steps to to reassemble here. Start these screws. I am going to show the side again uh, to get a little bit better shots on this piece. And yeah, that is about it. Up here, this is where you're gonna wanna start the disassembly. So this is where you're gonna get your pick and you are going to start on this side and work your way in like this. Um, this takes a little bit uh, to kind of start to, to get it going. Um, but once this first piece pops, it is really simple on just running it down the side, then back forward here, and then all the way around, and then all the way around. Um, really, again, hardest part is getting this first clip, but um, don't really have to put a ton of pressure on it. Just, just kind of go slow, be careful. Um, don't want to scratch a brand new computer. So uh, yeah, that's about it.